We're often told that if we follow some routine or adopt certain habits, we'll start seeing success and happiness. But the truth is that there is no guaranteed path to success. All we can do is try and stack the deck in our favor, card by card, and hope that when the opportunity arrives, we're ready to make the most of it. And it's precisely because life is this ultra marathon of random events that there is one habit that makes everything easier. Building habits is a lifelong journey and should be approached with an experimenter's mindset. I've personally been maintaining 15 to 20 habits over the past four years, but it wasn't until earlier this year when I read David Goggins' Can't Hurt Me that I added a habit that has changed everything for me. For those of you who don't know, David Goggins is a former 297 pound, super undisciplined person who decided one day that he'd had enough. He did a complete 180 and ended up losing 106 pounds in three months, becoming a Navy SEAL and an ultra endurance athlete. In his book, he talks about this idea of intentionally putting yourself in difficult situations to harden your mind which he calls callousing your mind. The reason behind it is that so much of our life is out of our control, and there will inevitably be moments where you wanna give up. You can't escape those moments, but you can prepare for them. It made me realize how easily I'd given up on things in my own life, whether it was small things like watching YouTube videos instead of exercising, to bigger things like continually putting off working on a side project because work was tiring. I started committing to doing one thing that sucked every day. From forcing myself to spend at least an hour a day learning or working on side projects, to getting up at 4.30 in the morning to run 20 miles. It was miserable. And in retrospect, I might have ramped up the intensity a little too quickly, but after doing it for a while, something magical happened. I noticed that everything started to feel easier. My confidence grew by leaps and bounds. I started to feel equipped to face life's challenges, and this fed into everything I did. Jumping in a cold shower no longer felt difficult. I could push myself harder in my workouts. There's this idea that's dominated psychology for the past 30 years called ego depletion, based on a paper by Baumeister and colleagues. The theory is that our willpower is connected to a limited reserve of mental energy, and once we use it up, we're more likely to lose self-control. But recent attempts to reproduce the original paper's results couldn't replicate them. Even worse, there is some evidence that merely believing that willpower is a limited resource will make you even more likely to lose self-control. Ever since I started scheduling in my suffering, I've noticed that willpower really does feel like a muscle. The more I work on it, the more willpower I have. And conversely, if I'm going through a period where I'm not pushing myself or giving my best effort, my willpower starts to diminish. This has been by far the single most impactful habit I've adopted, and I wish I'd started doing it earlier. You don't have to go out there and push yourself to the limit from the get-go. As with any habit, the key is consistency. Start small. Turn the cold water on for 10 seconds at the end of your shower. Do 10 push-ups in the morning. Then, as you gain more and more mastery over your mind, you can increase the challenge. I'm not sure if I'll ultimately achieve my dreams, but I do know I'll give it my best shot. And scheduling in daily suffering to build my ability to push forward when things get really difficult is a key component of that. Of course, grit isn't the only ingredient required for success. You also need to be running in the right direction, but it is a necessary ingredient. And I hope I've convinced you to join me on the path.